What is up guys? Tabby here and welcome back to my channel. So guys, as you can tell, I finally have my curation of magical curiosities, which of course is Cherry Wallace's box that she does with Geek Gear. Um, it actually took quite a while to get to me, but these boxes do come from the UK, so it does take a little bit longer to get to us. But it is finally here and I am so excited to see what she has come up with. So I know it's after Christmas, but it's never too late for a Harry Potter box. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and unbox this box. If you are interested, keep watching and let's get into it. Sneak peek. And right on top, it looks like we have a Christmas card and it says, Happy Christmas. Neville, that is really cute. On the back it says, Dear friend, I couldn't risk sending Hedwig ever since the World Cup. The ministry's been intercepting more and more owls and she's too easily recognized. Sirius Black. That reminds me, did you feed the owl upon arrival? It's quite cold this winter and it's flown quite the journey to get to you. That is true. I can't believe the festive season has arrived. It's the most wonderful time of the year, don't you think? This year has been filled with such magic and our community is thriving. Our wizarding world has some of the most incredible, passionate, and kind-hearted wizards and witches within it. And I'd like to say a huge thank you for all of your support with the curation of Magical Curiosities this year. I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a very magical magical new year always cherry that is so cute I kind of wish it would like have been personalized but I'm sure they sold thousands and thousands and thousands of these but I mean I love Neville so that is such a great start to the box next we have a really big package I have to say the packaging is so cute Ooh, it's a scarf Ooh, this is so pretty it doesn't have anything like on it it's just like a regular knitted scarf very good quality I don't know the reference maybe it's just a scarf for the winter box or maybe I'm a fake fan I mean it could be either this is so cute and so soft I really like this I will definitely be wearing this this winter. Next we have an enamel pin. It's like a Christmas wreath. Oh, and it has a golden snitch and like different jewels around. Oh, and it even has the Deathly Hollow symbol, a lightning bolt, H for Hogwarts. That is so pretty. You guys know how much I love enamel pins. Oh, that is like the perfect enamel pin for Christmas. I love all the little details in here. Next we have a box. Oh, it is a Remember All. I have wanted one of these for my collection for so long. The detail on here is almost like exactly like the movie. I really wish that it could be like something in there that like turns it red like that would be awesome. It is plastic, but it does feel like it's very well made. That is awesome. Wow, okay. Next we have another box with a red Christmas bow. It is a flying key. It actually has wings on there. And this key, oh my gosh, it has the Deathly Hollow symbol. That is so freaking cool. Especially because we all know Cherry is such a big fan of the flying key. So this is perfect for her box. And I absolutely adore this. Oh, I'm totally hanging this somewhere to where it just kind of spins around like it's actually flying. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Okay, we have another box and in this one has like a crown on there. It is a wizarding chess piece. Oh my gosh, that is so freaking cool. Like, I did not know I needed this in my collection. But now that I have it, I need it. But the detail and quality of this is amazing. I feel like this piece would hold up in Wizarding Chess, which as we all know, can be very violent. Or as Hermione would say, that's totally barbaric. Oh my gosh, I love it. This box so far, guys, is blowing my mind. I really liked Cherry's first box, but this one so far, I think is like, 20 times better than her first box. And I liked her first box, so that's saying something. Wow. Next we have a piece bubble wrapped. And this is the box. This is clearly the Yule Ball, but like part of it is like poked out the top. <laughs> But yeah, this is clearly a Yule Ball item, which we all know, again, Cherry loves the Yule Ball. More bubble wrap. 
they were determined that this not get broken. It is an actual like drink thing from the Yule Ball. Like I've never been to the Wizarding Studio tour in London. It is a dream. It really is. I want to go so bad one day. And this is like a replica of the drink bottles that they have there on display for like the Yule Ball section. I love the little pumpkin top and it has like a bluish tinge at the bottom. This reminds me of her enamel pin from her first box. So I love that we got an actual version of that bottle from her pen. That is so cool. Next we have a, another box and it says, Happy Christmas Harry, Happy Christmas Ron. Hmm. So it's two gloves, one with an R on it and one with the H. I think this is to represent the Weasley sweaters. I honestly don't know how I feel about it being two different colors, but these are definitely good quality gloves. Even the H and R are like embroidered on there. Now that I'm seeing it on, I actually kind of like the different colors. Definitely different though. <laughs> but I love that she represented the Weasley sweaters in the Christmas box. Like I for real, I don't know how many times I've said it, I for real want a Weasley sweater with the T on it. Like it's a dream. But I love that we got some type of version of the Weasley sweaters. That is really cool. You guys let me know in the comments down below. Do you like the different colors or does it bother you that it's different? Next we have a Chudley Cannons banner. Is that what they're called? Flag? I actually really like this. We all know that the Chudley Cannons is Ron's favorite Quidditch team and his room at the borough is like completely decorated in Chudley Cannon items. So I really like that now I have a piece of that that I can display on my wall. Not a very Christmassy item, but I still really like this. Next we have a white envelope. Oh my gosh. It is a Yule Ball invitation. Look at this. Oh my gosh. The gold foiling. Wow. That is so freaking gorgeous. And it says, Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, together with the Ministry of Magic, request the pleasure of your company at the Yule Ball to celebrate Christmas and the Triwizard Tournament to be held at 1900 hours Christmas Day at the Great Hall Hogwarts School, strictly dressed to impress. Wow. I cannot get over this. This is hands down my favorite Yule Ball replica ever. And last in the box, we have an art print, and it is, of course, the howler that Molly sends to Ron. This is from book two. Again, not very Christmassy, um, but I'm assuming that this was done by Cherry. It doesn't have her signature. Oh, I wish it had her signature. So I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. I think it is. She is so talented. It is crazy. I love that I have another art print from her. I will definitely display it next to my mandrake. So guys, that was everything from the box. Let's take a quick look at the cheat sheet. This was the Maxima box. The first item was the Molly Weasley knitted scarf. This is the scarf that Molly gave Fred and George in the Order of the Phoenix in the movie. Oh my gosh, I'm such a fake fan. I did not get that. Wow, that makes me love it even more. <laughs> The flying key ornament, the wizard chess piece, the howler artwork, and it is by Cherry. The Remembral, the Chudley Cannons Quidditch team flag, the Yule Ball invitation, the Hogwarts wreath enamel pin, the Yule Ball bottle, the Harry and Ron Christmas gloves, and the Yule Ball poster. Oh crap! I forgot that it came with this. Well, we know it's a Yule Ball poster. So this is the Yule Ball poster. Oh, again, very pretty. But as always, you guys will have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. This is really hard. I really loved this box. There were so many amazing items. Definitely the Yule Ball invitation. It's just gorgeous. But I also really loved the flying key replica and the chess piece replica, but also the Yule Ball bottle and remember all and the enamel pen. I'm, I mean, pretty much everything. Like, there were so many replicas in this box, and you guys know, I adore replicas. So, the fact that almost everything in this box was a replica, just wow. Cherry, 
you were killing it. Least favorite? Um, uh, I did not have a least favorite item. I loved everything from this box. I mean, this box was just amazing. Like I said earlier, Cherry's first box was good, but this box is amazing. Definitely feels more like a Cherry Wallace box instead of a Geek Gear box with Cherry Wallace, if that makes sense. But as always, you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you wanna join my small community of Harry Potter lovers and bookworms. And I will see y'all next time. Bye guys. And Harry, this is like, this, Ugh, made of wood or <sighs> that means I get to play with bubble wrap later. Bubble 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 butt. Bubble butt. Bubble 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 butt. Got an actual virgin. Virgin? Virgin? Virgin is happy hair happy. That's too done. Is it the mazel the I'm gonna pretend that Molly made this for me. I really am. Mm -hmm.